Alright guys, we've got, uh, got all the parts painted and uh, we're going to get ready to get putting stuff back on I guess, swapping stuff out. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, first you lift the truck, let me show you, lift it back behind, back behind the wheel, see on the frame back here, you lift it back there so you can get the wheels, all this uh, weight off of the wheels here. Put one of these on the frame on both sides because you're going to need to remove this front sway bar linkage right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Front sway bar linkage right there. There's a sway bar. You need to get that off so that can get out of the way so you can get to these bolts and things and get this out. So you gotta have this lifted and get the pressure off of that so you can get that off of there. Now I, I had to uh, use a breaker bar on this. Um, I tried using the impact socket on it, electric impact on it, and that didn't work. Of course, to get the wheel off, using this uh, 21 millimeter and I uh, got my little electric impact with the uh, swivel socket impact socket uh, bit on the end of it so uh, the plan is to take off these 14 millimeters up here 14 millimeter screws, there's three of them up there they were on there real tight so uh, you may need to use the old uh, blowtorch technique get those off of there just be real careful because uh, I don't know if I can do all this at one time but you can see there's the brake line goes all the way the brake line uh, electric for the ABS and all that stuff goes all the way down there that that can be right there that can get pretty hot so if you don't be careful you might destroy that don't want to do that we'll be in the shop for sure but I heated those up and then uh, use my little 14 millimeter wrench on it and they they came loose so if you're just stuck heat them up and then pour a little water on them that'll break them loose this guy down here I just used the uh, 17 millimeter and the uh, and the breaker bar on that okay you can see I got the anti sway bar linkage off I don't know if you can see that there it is hey little fella okay on this side but I was gonna show you kind of what I had to do to get it. So you just see my there's my breaker bar and my socket on the end and I put a uh, adjustable wrench here so when I pull this breaker bar it, it locks it in place it locks that other one in place because it'll just spin if you don't do this so now that it's loose I'll go get my impact wrench and I'll get that off of there in case you wonder how to get that sucker unstuck because it's going to be stuck on there if you've never taken it off before. Alright, so I'm going to show you this setup that I used to get this bolt out of here. You got a three quarter inch wrench, stuck it on the, the end of it and using my three quarter inch socket an impact wrench on the other side and it uh, came right out. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All this other stuff has been stuck pretty good. Okay, now that I've taken off the the nut off the other side, so here it is, taking off the nut off the other side, I can get my wrench back off of there, I can take this bolt out of here, and uh, since I got the three nuts off the top already, should be able to uh, just take this whole thing, take it right out of here, somehow, I don't want to have to take this, uh, I may have to. I may have to. Uh, I may have to turn the wheel to, to do it. Maybe not though. Look at that. Nope. I sure don't. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. It's out. Okay. Well, I've officially broken my truck pretty good. So let's we'll see what happens when we get these new shocks in here. Okay. Well, what new shocks? You might be asking yourself. This took off the shocks. What is he talking about? Well. On Amazon, you can go online, you can order just about anything, including, look at that, already, already struts, okay, and these are based off of a model number that is specific to the Nissan Xterra, here we go, 
171103. So let's see how these look. So there's the O-Ready, already struts, and there's the ones that came with it. Look pretty much the same to me, so let's stick them on there, see what happens. So you want to put this back on the same way that it came off. The first thing you got to do is take off this little sticker here on the end, won't be needing that. And then uh, it's got, ah, it's stuck to my glove. Then it's got some nuts. Get those off. Not gonna need those until we put it back on. Then try and get it in the same way that it came out. So what I did was I, I took this screwdriver and I just stuck the, the end of it in, in it and I sat it in my lap and I just really, you know, basically just twist, jerked it. I bang, 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 bang like this. That's the only way I could figure to do it. I noticed it was moving just a little bit every time and then I tried it and it looked like it was a perfect fit. So uh, now we're going to put it back together. So you, you don't want to throw away your bolt that came with your old one should just fit right in there there you go because these didn't come with a new bolt I don't think I didn't see one in there now so I'm gonna just thread this uh, thread this on and grab the uh, the impactor inch and in that uh, three-quarter inch socket which I have right here and my three-quarter inch wrench stick it on the other side over here and then uh, kind of wedge it on there. Maybe I'll wedge it a different direction. I don't know. And it'll uh, it'll be done. All I have to do is put these new nuts, three new nuts at the top. I think these. Somebody said online, some other channel, that these are 15 millimeters. So I may have to put my 14 millimeter wrench away and get these get these on with 15 millimeter. All right. See you in a minute. All right. So there it is. It's installed, and you can see I got the new those little brass nuts in the top there those are uh, 15 millimeter what came out was 14 what went in was 15 and then down on the bottom see I got it all put in it's nice I don't know if you can see this side or not Let's see. down the bottom well anyways you don't need to see that you just need to see that it's in <laughs> I did it I can put the wheel back on now I'm gonna uh, hold off on installing this uh, the new sway bar link until uh, in, until I do my inner and outer tie rods. I'm gonna I've got a new one of those. Eh, I might throw it on. I don't know. Um, and I'm gonna go do the other side. Hopefully we can get that out much easier. We got this one now that we know what we're doing. All right. Well, once you're done, don't forget to check the area for any tools you might have used as uh, prying bars or whatever and then to uh, reinstall your uh, install your uh, ABS brake system lines back into these little quick releases and this one goes upside down a little trivia for you and that one goes in there she got all these guys in as far as they'll go, I'll go a little further, and now you can go do the other side.